only on Christ 17 TV. Back at you with another one. This one is an ill one. People are getting so creative, but it's like, how did you pull that off? That is crazy to me. You know what? I ain't even going to really talk too much more, but you got to see this crazy thing that happened in Oakland, California. This is nuts. People are getting creative, but if you could drive this, <clears throat> you might as well <laughs> go get a job, construction job, because you get paid some good money. Check out this crazy shit right here. Surveillance video showing a backup crashing through the bulletproof glass this AM PM store on West Grand Avenue in West Oakland on Monday morning. Watch as the backhoe is eventually used to tear apart the ATM. They tore up the whole front. That's at least seventy thousand dollars worth of damage. That is Ali Abdullah. He is the owner of the AM PM store that was damaged and chose not to show his face due to safety concerns. He says the clerk who is working is okay. Outdoor surveillance video shows the masked individuals first breaking into the store with the backhoe, then backing a white pickup truck to the entrance. Soon they can be seen pulling out a chain, which you can see. They then tried to connect to the damaged ATM. Abdullah says the chain was not long enough to connect to the ATM, so when the would-be thieves heard sirens, at least one jumped into the back of this pickup and drove off without even taking anything. I was born and raised in Oakland. I'm 51 years old. I've never seen nothing like this. I think the only way you can run a business in Oakland is you maybe have to, as soon as you close, you sleep in your store and stay locked and loaded with an AK-47 and just be ready because the police is not coming on time. And I'm not blaming the police. There's just not enough of them out there. Abdullah <coughs> says he is frustrated by the thousands of dollars worth of damage to his store and also upset over what has happened to other businesses in Oakland wants to know where his tax dollars are going when it comes to public safety. This is not what we were promised, the American dream. You know, I don't see the American dream. I think it's American nightmare right now. When officers arrived, the backhoe was still there, but no signs of the vandals and a heavily damaged store. In Oakland, J.R. Stone, ABC7 News. He blames the cops. But he's not going to say it because the next time it happens, they ain't never showing up. So that's a fact. But the thing I don't get is if this is the middle of the night, where the fuck do you get a bad co at? And where are you driving it from? Are you just driving it through the fucking streets of Oakland and nobody's knowing this? This is crazy. But that's creative, though. I... <laughs> A motherfucker backed in with a backhoe and tore the whole front window off. Tore the ATM off, but all for for nothing. Gotta come with a longer chain next time. That's crazy. Only in the town you're gonna see some crazy shit like that. Only in the town. But I bet that guy, the clerk, he won't be looking down at at his phone no more when it's slow in there. And how the fuck you don't see that pulling up to the front of the store? Whatever you watching, you must have been looking at some porn or some shit where you was just... And didn't look up. You didn't hear that? Backing up? You didn't see that? That's crazy, man. People are getting creative and creative. with. Now that's a whole new definition of smash and grab. But the cold part is you did all that thinking to put this shit into it. And you got out of there with absolutely nothing. Chain is too short. So you left the backhoe. But where did you get that at? How did you even get a hold of that kind of machinery to, to get to the store and... How did nobody not see you driving that down the street? That is crazy to me. That's a whole different type of smash and grab. That's different. Only in the town, boy. Only in the town you get to see some crazy shit like that. But they didn't plan it that good because the chain was too short. You put in all that work for no money. But I'm saying this. If you can drive that, you might as well go work 
construction and get some good money. Instead of trying to get some twos and fuse it, you got to split with like three, three motherfuckers. I'm just like, where did they get that at? That is just insane to me that you can just pull up to a store with a fucking backhoe and and do that. But come up empty handed. I'm going to just say this. Whoever was driving that, go get a construction job. Because you did a hell of a job. You knew how to drive it. That's not your first time driving something like that. Or you was practicing somewhere it. it in the parking lot, <laughs> but that's crazy how you got a backhoe, and you're going back up into a store, dig out the window, dig out the ATM, so they've been in the store, they know where everything was, they had this plan pretty good, except for the chain, and police not coming, police not coming, they got a thing where they call, and they take a long time to come in the town, because there's not enough cops working in the town. But that's the funniest shit I've seen in a minute when it comes to smash and grab. But if you could do all that, you might as well get a job. They're paying some good money if you could drive those. You want to waste your time on getting nothing, and when they catch your ass, you're going to get a fucking felony. That's some crazy shit. I feel bad. I feel bad for the guy, though. It's going to be $70,000 worth a damage to his store he's right though you're gonna have to sleep in your shit with an ak-47 to protect your money that you've been there for years 51 years in the town and he's never seen nothing like it that's how crazy oakland's getting san francisco every everywhere in the bay is going crazy right now with smashing even in tracy they just did some shit where they Rode a truck into a liquor store and took all the cigarettes. That's crazy. People are doing this shit everywhere. It's not just in the Bay. It's happening in the Valley. It's happening in L.A. It's happening in different states. This is um, this like the new thing. Smash and grab. Take whatever you can. Money. Alcohol, cigarettes, lottery tickets. These people don't give a fuck. They about to get whatever they can and boogie. But that's crazy with the tractor though. With the backhoe. Like, what do you... Like, if you driving around at night and you see this motherfucker driving like at 1, 2 in the fucking... In the morning, I'm shocked. Nobody called like, yo, there's a fucking backhoe driving down so-and-so block. That's crazy to me. But only in the town. They go crazy in the town right now. So I just wanted to show you that real quick because that shit had me laughing. That is crazy. But I feel bad for the guy from the store because, you know, now he's going to have to come out of his pocket to pay for all that damage. So with that being said, man, if you know how to drive that kind of stuff, go get a real job because you're going to get some good, good money if you can drive that kind of backhoe. And it looked like he really knew what the fuck he was doing. He really looked like he knew how to drive that bitch because he, he drove it there. He knew how to work everything. And I mean, damn. Well, shit, man, it's Christ 17 TV. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. This one for the early morning one, and this is crazy. You you think that you've seen it all until you see something else, and you're like, God damn, how he do that shit? Like I said, if you could drive that shit, go get you a good job. They pay good money if you could drive that, especially in the Bay Area. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, Christ17TV, catch you on the flip side, player.